Well, the question of admitting Syrian refugees has been part of the national security discussion among the 2016 presidential candidates. However, an organization in Rexburg is supporting Syrian refugees by raising funds and accepting donations to help them. Eyewitness News reporter Esme Cariega talked to some of the members of that relief organization in Rexburg about the donations they received. Esme? Todd, Trisha Galler, a member of the organization, says she contacted someone from the Utah Refugee Center and found out that they need, new, they need warm clothes for the kids. In the wake of the Paris and most recent California terror attacks, a wave of anti-Muslim refugee sentiment has been unleashed, sending thousands of refugees fleeing their homeland to the United States and European nations, and ISIS still responsible for the bloodshed. Here in Idaho, a local group says they don't see Syrian refugees as the enemy, but instead people who need help. Maybe anti-Muslim sentiment and rhetoric we were hearing from different politicians and feeling that we needed to stand up for what we felt was right and protect our brothers and sisters wherever they might be. Money donations along with clothes were collected. Nothing but what they're wearing. When we recognize that these are real people, we want to help them. The article of clothing most needed were warm winter clothes. Executive director of the Utah Refugee Center says this country represents a melting pot of diversity. Our country always has been founded on freedom and opportunity and so um, for each and every one of us to have those things is such a great benefit and blessing in our lives. Not all people are have bad intentions. This holiday refugee families will be able to choose what they need. Receive gifts for their Christmas so the new items are going to them as Christmas gifts and then filling in the gaps with the, the other items people donated. So far, they've raised close to $2,400, and some of that money will be sent to the congregation Beth Shalom in Bozeman, Montana, and then they'll send it to the refugees in Prague. Reporting from the newsroom, I'm Esme Cariega. Esme, thank you for that. Amid the backlash, Baltimore is also opening its doors to Syrian refugees fleeing the Middle East.